What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another episode of my budget series here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And today, guys, if you guys are interested in finding some outside linebackers who are good at pass rushing, who are specifically built for the 34 defense, you've come to the right place because I've got a few guys for you guys today, and we're going to be able to take a look at them, kind of analyze them, compare them to some guys who are quite a bit more expensive, see where they're better, see where they kind of fall short, all that type of thing. And this is something that we've done for other positions as well so go ahead and if you're interested take a look in the description of this video below I will also leave a link in the comment section below to a playlist which contains videos from other positions and uh, ones that I've done throughout the kind of the entirety I guess of Madden 15 Ultimate Team so far so definitely go check that out if you're interested in other positions or if you're interested in linebackers that maybe play the 43 because that one is is uh, one that I recently did I think this past week so definitely go check those out and with that being said guys let's hop into this very first comparison for the day and uh, we're going to start things off here like I said with some pass rushing specialists and that's what this whole video is going to be about today guys pass rushing now I did also include some attributes for things like coverage and and also your run support type of uh, things as well just because I want to make sure that people are understanding where those players, where these specific players stand in those categories in case you try to use them as a coverage linebacker or in run support, which of course every linebacker is going to have to be in run support for the most part at some point. So all that does matter. But we're specifically, like I said, focusing on pass rushing today. So on the left hand side of your screen, you have Dwight Freeney Gold. 84 overall, he's a right outside linebacker, going for about 2,000 coins on average, so a very, very low-priced item, and this is the lowest-priced one of the day, guys, and we're going to be comparing him to Von Miller, 90 overall, going for about 60,000 coins, and this is an elite item. Now, I'm not trying to tell you, and, and I always say this in every video, I'm not necessarily trying to say that the item on the left is better than the item on the right, but what we're trying to do is find some comparable players if you don't have 60,000 coins and you still want to have somebody who's a great pass rusher, that's where we're really focused on today. So that's why we've got Dwight Freeney there on the left-hand side of your screen. Let's quick run through these attributes just so that you guys are aware of what each thing stands for. Going from the top left all the way down to the bottom right, we're going to start with speed, then we're going to go to acceleration, strength, awareness, play recognition, catching, zone coverage, man coverage, tackling, hit power, power move, finesse move, block shedding, and pursuit. So each one of these things is important in their own way, but like I said, really what we're going to be focused on today is the pass rushing. So we've got speed, acceleration, strength, and then you want to either go with your power move or your finesse move. It can really be either. And then block shedding. Those are the main attributes that we're focused on today. Everything else, like I said, does matter, but it's not really as important if you're going for, for a pass rush. So first things first, obviously Dwight Freeney is not quite as quick as Von Miller because he is too slower, but he does have the same acceleration. Their speed difference is not going to be that significant because it's going to be very rare that either of these players is going to get to their actual top speed while going after the quarterback, but it is still important to take a look at it and see kind of the comp the comparison between the two of them, especially if for some, some reason they're trying to chase down a fast quarterback or something like that. That does matter. Uh, and then obviously you look at your power move, your finesse move. Now, Von Miller is kind of more balanced with his pass rushing attributes because he has an 84 for power move and a 93 for finesse move. So he's good in both of those categories, whereas Dwight Freeney is really, really leaning toward the finesse move. And we know that if we've seen Dwight Freeney throughout his NFL career, he's definitely more of a finesse move type of pass rusher. And that's how he is in this item as well. Very, very good at the with the finesse move at a 97 that is four higher than Von Miller's best pass move, which is the finesse move. So definitely a great attribute there for Dwight Freeney. He does lag behind, though, with that power move. He's seven lower than Von Miller, which is a substantial difference. So, you know, if he ever does get into this, the situation where he's trying to utilize that power move, that's not nearly as good of an attribute as, as your Von Miller. But he does have a decent pursuit as well at a 95. That is, that's actually really high for a linebacker. Kind of surprising to me because he's never really been known for being particularly great against the run. And I think that's why he has such a low block shed. This is the area where I'm most concerned with Dwight Freeney. 65 for a block shed. 
that is very, very low. And that's really the reason why, in my opinion, this item goes for as cheap as it does. If it had even like an 80 for a block shed, this could be a 10,000 coin item because it is so good in these other areas. It does, again, lag behind a little bit with the strength. We had a 79 versus the 86 from Von Miller. And I don't know, that's a pretty substantial drop off with a seven attribute difference. But he is also going to be, like I said, more focused on the finesse move than he is the power move. So it's not quite as important. But either way, we do want to have good strength. Uh, so that is a little bit disappointing. That That's the second most concerning thing for me. But like I said, he does make up for it with that finesse move, which is such an extraordinary attribute. It's so, so high. He also has really great awareness, play recognition. Both of those attributes, quite a bit higher than Von Miller in 12 higher for awareness. And I don't know if they, they made Von Miller's awareness low because of the off-field issues he's had. And they just like, I don't know if they're making fun of him almost because of that. Because I don't really think of many times where he is particularly poor at decision making or anything like that. But either way, Dwight Freeney is substantially higher with the play recognition and the awareness. So that's, you know, a little bit of an added bonus for that item. But again, guys, overall, very, very good card here for Dwight Freeney. Very, very cheap as well. For 2,000 coins, you can try this thing out, see if you like it. If you don't, of course, you can always move on. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to move on to our second comparison, which is Clay Matthews. This is the most feared item from the Halloween promo, and we're going to be comparing it to Trent Cole. Now, our budget's a little bit higher here. We bumped it up to 8,000, and the reason I did that is because I know that there were a lot of people who were wondering maybe if I could give them a couple little bit higher, more expensive items than, like, the real cheap ones. This is still cheap at 8,000 coins, and eventually, guys, we will get into doing higher budgets, you know, maybe a 25,000 coin budget or something like that, so that you guys can maybe get into that next tier of even better players with kind of more balanced attributes than what we're seeing here where we're kind of specifying one specific thing that the player is good at. But on the left-hand side of your screen, like I said, most feared Clay Matthews going for about 8,000 coins. He's 86 overall, and we're going to be comparing him to Trent Cole, team captain, 90 overall for the Philadelphia Eagles, going for about 40,000 coins. So there is a five times coin difference here, about a 32,000 coin difference. Now, what I will say is that Clay Matthews, his price does kind of fluctuate pretty substantially. I've seen him go all the way for 20,000 coins, and I've seen him all the way go for as low as about 6,000. So you kind of have to pay attention to this one. Pay attention to the auction block. Don't pay too much for this item, but you should be able to find it somewhere between eight to 10,000 on average, I think, uh, from what I've seen, at least on, on PlayStation 4, that's roughly where it goes on average. But overall, Clay Matthews, a very, very nice item. He's not quite as fast as Trent Colby because he does only have 84 speed. But again, they do have the same acceleration, kind of similar to what we saw with the Dwight Freeney versus the Von Miller in the last comparison. Similar speeds, you're not likely to see either of these players get to their top speed very often. So it's not going to be that substantial of a difference. But we still do like to see the, the high speed. And actually, 84 speed isn't terrible for a linebacker anyway. 86, obviously, for Trent Cole is a little bit better. But um, then uh, in strength, they're the same as well. So that's something where Dwight Freeney lagged behind pretty substantially. And Dwight Freeney was also behind a lot in block shedding, like that huge 25-point gap. Whereas Clay Matthews is going, he has about an 80 uh, block shed. So it's only a four difference between him and Trent Cole. So really not that much of a difference between him in the strength and the block shedding areas or the acceleration and the speed areas. And then when you take a look at the fact that Clay Matthews actually has 95 for a power move, that is an awesome attribute because that is not something that you're going to see very often in your outside linebackers. The power move is typically going to be more for players who are playing, you know, 34 defensive end rather than 34 outside linebacker. But Clay Matthews does check in with a really high power move, so that's definitely something that we like to see. And that is actually one higher than Trent Cole's better pass rushing move, which is his finesse move. That checks in at a 94 for Trent Cole. So he's actually one lower with his better finesse or with his better pass rushing move. And then when you compare uh, Trent Cole's lower one, he is eight higher with that power move than Clay Matthews's 
finesse move at a 72. And and the reason that I compare the them differently from one another is because the player defaults typically to their better pass rushing move. So if you're not controlling them, more often Clay Matthews is going to use his power move, whereas Trent Cole is going to more often use his finesse move if the computer's controlling him. So that's why we kind of look at those attributes and we really try to uh, make sure that we're not getting ripped off or anything like that. We want to make sure that we have somebody that has a good power move or a finesse move. We don't really care which one it is because they're uh, from what I've been able to see there isn't much of a substantial difference between the two as far as effectiveness goes but Clay Matthews does lag behind in a couple of areas that I thought was a little bit surprising. He only has an 84 for awareness, and that was, like I said, kind of surprising because a lot like Von Miller, I don't really recall Clay Matthews making any dumb plays. Certainly doesn't make dumb plays off the field, so that's a little bit weird. And then his play recognition is substantially lower as well at an 85 versus Trent Cole being a 92. But Clay Matthews does a little bit make up for it in some of these other categories because he does have a substantially higher catching attribute, and he's a little bit better both in in man coverage and zone coverage. So if you are to use him in coverage uh, from time to time, I, I wouldn't recommend that. But if he, you know, if you typically blitz with him and then on a, a player two throughout the game, you drop him back into coverage just to kind of throw the def- or the throw the offense off, I should say. Sometimes he will make a good play for you. I've been intercepted by this Clay Matthews item in a head-to-head seasons game before, so I can tell you firsthand that this item does make plays on the ball, and uh, he's kind of uh, he'll catch you off guard, like I said, because people will try and blitz with him throughout the game, and then they'll drop him into coverage, and you'll think that he's going to be pass rushing, and you'll throw it right to him. So that's something that that Clay Matthews I think does better than Trent Cole. He also has a way higher hit power which is going to be something good for when he actually does hit the quarterback. He is 21 higher with his hit power than Trent Cole, so he's going to force substantially more turnovers with his sacks. So that's definitely something that we like to see. Now, let's move on to our final comparison for the day. This is our third grouping of outside linebackers here on the 34 defense. And we've got Anthony Barr, Team of the Week, on the left-hand side of your screen, 86 overall, going for about 9,000 coins. And we're going to be comparing him to Alden Smith, who goes for about 40,000 coins. This is an, an elite item, red background elite item for Alden Smith. Now, Alden Smith, typically known for being one of the best pass rushers in the game. He definitely has an awesome power move and an awesome finesse move, uh, a lot like Von Miller, where he's very balanced with his with his pass rushing moves. He's good at both of them, obviously better in this case at the power move than he is the finesse move, but he is higher than Anthony Barr at both of those things. Does have a higher block shed, does have higher strength, does have higher acceleration. So all of those things, which are major categories of these items, go in the favor of Alden Smith for for pass rushing. Can't lie, this is a better pass rushing item overall. Alden Smith is going to be better for you than Anthony Barr, but... Anthony Barr is about a quarter of the price, so you can definitely get a a good item here out of Anthony Barr and still have a lot of similar attributes to what you see with Alden Smith, but the one major area where Anthony Barr does make a big gap difference is that he's 91 speed. That is one of the fastest linebackers in this game, period. And that is something that you can't overlook. I I preach about speed so often when I'm making these budget series episodes because speed and acceleration are just something that it's so important almost no matter what they're doing. Whether it's pass rushing, whether it's in run support, whether it's in coverage, it really doesn't matter. Speed and acceleration are the one thing that really just it matters for every position other than maybe kicker and punter. And even on kicker and punter, you could argue that it matters if, if for whatever reason, they the play gets blown up and they have to make a tackle or something on a, on a kick return. So uh, it really does matter for absolutely everything. That's why I wanted to point out this Anthony Barr because he does have one of the fastest speed uh, combinations that you're going to find out of any linebacker with that 91 speed and the 92 acceleration. Extraordinarily fast item. So I definitely love that about Anthony Barr. Like I said, he's going for about 9,000 coins right now, which does hate, make him the most expensive item. But if you're somebody that likes to use your linebackers, I really like Anthony Barr a lot because he's going to be able to do a great job tackling with his hit power. He is actually a little bit higher in both tackling and hit power than Eldon Smith is, which 
kind of surprised me, but he has great power moves. Um, he has decent enough block shedding. His strength is a little bit low, um, but overall, he is a great item to user control because we don't have to then worry about his, his man coverage and his zone coverage, which are kind of low. We don't have to worry about his play recognition and his awareness, which aren't that great. Uh, we really just get to utilize his speed, his acceleration, and then uh, stuff like his block shedding and that kind of stuff. Um, so again, I really do like this Anthony Barr item overall. I think it's one of the better, more underrated items. And it's definitely one where when I, I, when I first saw it, I was kind of surprised that it was going for as low of a price as it is because of that huge speed burst that it has over the top of just about any other linebacker in this entire game. So guys, that is going to wrap things up here for the 34 outside linebacker position. We are going to take a look at another position in the coming days here. I'm not going to tell you guys which one it is, but let me know in the comments section below what position do you want me to do? If you haven't seen uh, all of the videos that I've done, go ahead, like I said, and check out the comment section below. I will have a link to the playlist, which contains all of the other videos that I've done. We've only got a few positions left. We've still got quarterback. We've still got tight ends and fullbacks, and we've still got kicker punter and kick returner as well so I want to do a video on each of those might end up comp combining a couple of them like kicker and punter but um, overall guys we're getting close to the end of this budget series so we will be doing an upgraded budget series down the road and I just want to hear from you guys what type of budget do you want me to stay within for the new series let me know in the comment section below. Is it 25,000 coins roughly? I mean, it's going to, of course, vary depending on the position. But, I mean, are we talking that you guys want me to go up to the more expensive, like some of the most expensive items in the game? Because then I don't really consider it to be much of a budget squad. But, uh, you know, I, I hear from people all the time that they want me to do an upgraded budget squad with more expensive players, but still ones that are affordable for your average person. So, again, let me know in the comment section below what type of range you want me to, to stay within for the new series. And also... Also, let me know in the comment section below which of the remaining positions do you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned something. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. It's how we grow this channel. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.